Welcome to our video on how to make this 3D part. In this tutorial, we'll take you through the process of visually dissecting the isometric view and recreating it step by step. So, let's dive in. Take a moment to observe the isometric view of the part. Instead, we encourage you to follow along and analyze the design as we go through the process of creating it. This part include only one sketch and we will extrude this sketch 40 mm. We will first make front view of this part. Open up FreeCAD and select Part Design Workbench. Click here to add a new document. Click on this button to create a new body. Click here to create a new sketch. Select XZ Plane. Turn on Grid Turn on Auto Snap Click on Polyline Tool Follow the steps Close this sketch by clicking on start point. We have now closed sketch. You can see here degrees of freedom for this sketch. To make this sketch fully constrained, we need to provide dimensions of lines. We have successfully applied horizontal and vertical line constraints by keeping auto constraints on. You can see all line elements here. Let's reduce degrees of freedom. Click on Distance Constraint Tool. Verify line dimension with provided reference drawing. Each dimension will reduce one degree of freedom. By applying length, line will be converted into green color which is a sign of fully constrained line. You can see unconstrained sketch, which is having one degree of freedom. We will provide distance to make this sketch fully constrained. You can see here fully constrained sketch. Close this sketch. Now we will extrude this sketch by pad tool. Click on pad tool. Provide 40 millimeters and click OK. Let's change body color by these steps. Let's change background color by these steps. Let's export this part in STL format. Select File Format Provide Name You can see your exported file at desired location.
Let's import STL file by these steps. And there you have it. By following along and analyzing the isometric view, you've successfully recreated this part. Remember, practice makes perfect, and with time, you'll develop the skills to tackle even more challenging designs. Keep exploring, experimenting, and pushing the boundaries of your creativity.